Yeah, you know I'm about to whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, 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 yeah, you know I gotta fuck Let's live life, feel once I'm about to turn up Take it, fly, oh, for sure, it's about to go up Let's get caught, yeah, you know I'm about to whoa, whoa. Please, 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 yeah, you know I gotta fuck Let's live life, feel once I'm about to turn up Take it, fly, oh, for sure, it's about to go up Let's get caught, yeah, you know I'm about to whoa, whoa. What's up, family? We are back. Thank you all for being here. First off, thank you for the participation on the last video. Um, it's real, you guys. It's real. It's going on. It's happening now. It's almost like the fall of Babylon. <laughs> now, karma. It is all coming back. I'm gonna, um, I got a great video lined up after uh, this upload. And uh, I think I have a new favorite YouTuber. It's not Tisa anymore. It's Candace. I've never indulged in her content, but I love it. I love that woman. Um, anyway, I'm done talking. Let's get to the video. We're gonna be discussing a video titled, The Baby talks about Beyonce and how she might have been shared yeah this is hot hut let's get it we, we coming to you live um did you late nights um we need to happen I'm just vibing so why what did he think was cool about this it's bad enough people say what they say, but you don't help the narrative when you're on here trying to be a bad B. I'm sorry, you don't at all. Let's continue. Uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? Uh, Diddy had, he had put everybody else out the crib, like the, the influx of people he had put them out. But he had, he had, uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean? Like putting his arm around me. Right. Do y'all think he might have not known that he was on a casting couch? Do y'all think the baby might have not known that um, that was the moment of truth? Do you guys think that the baby might not have known what was in store for him? Just period. He kicked everybody else out and only had a select few. He had his arm around. I love when you scrambling and scraping, Daddy. <laughs> Pause. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and you know maybe about maybe about fifteen others. You know, right. Jay Z and Beyonce being you know two of the other 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 fifteen people in the room. So that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was in. Right. At the moment, you know. Just a few months back, the baby opened up in an interview with Shannon Sharp, spilling serious tea about Beyonce and Jay Z. All right, so I guess um, after he kicked everybody out, he had that few. I know, I guess this is what happened. He had that few people, and Beyonce and Jay were amongst the group that were left. There was um, a interviewer, no, a person being interviewed. He said that um, after a certain time, they left. They were told to leave because strange things happened after hours at the parties. I believe it. And to hear somebody like the baby speak on it, it really validated a lot of speculations I've, or we've had about dude. After the party, it's the after party. And after the after party, it's probably this. Pink stuff and Chris. Nah, let me stop, let's go. At one of Diddy's notorious parties, rumors are swirling that Jay-Z might have been setting Beyonce up with Diddy to seal some business deals. It's been whispered for ages that Jay treated Beyonce like Diddy did with Cassie, but who really believed it because of the power couple facade they maintain. Oh, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. According to the baby, Jay keeps Beyonce up, pushing her into wild party scenes. It's not just him. Many insiders have shared similar stories, but it took the baby's words for people to start questioning the reality behind the glam. Meanwhile, Diddy's in hot water, big time. Homeland Security nabbed him, and now he's in a cell. Bail denied twice, despite throwing... Real quick. Um, they just had LeBron saying it ain't no party like a Diddy party. A lot of people, especially Candace, was speaking about how LeBron, King Ron, was so vocal about certain things happening within the world 
but he's very quiet about the situation. There's a reason for it. When Bron was 18, 19, he got sought out by Jay-Z. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, he was signed to their athletics. Rock of uh, Rock Nation. It, it was something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But like they say, he's the chosen one. He's the chosen one. But what was going on at that Diddy party that made them the best? Yeah. Oh, and let me continue with what I was saying. LeBron, Jay-Z, Diddy. I feel LeBron is quiet because if he speaks up, they're going to look at his ties to Jay-Z. They're already looking at Jay-Z, in my opinion, but it'll put more eyes on them. The last thing that these people want is more speculation around their name, in my opinion. Let's go. Throwing down a whopping $50 million bond. Okay. Now, <laughs> we need um, alcohols. Right. Alcohols. Right. Not just one alcohol. Alcohols. Right. Just Florals. different blend. You need Wait. the ladies, you need the booze. You need um, some water. You need ladies, booze, water. Probably because of the pink stuff or the X, Y, Z. <laughs> For watering plants? No. no, no, I don't know if guys have noticed this. Like, a lot of ladies drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. <laughs> hey, this is sounding kind Okay, he's on some Aaron Hall shit now. Back in the day, they say Aaron Hall had two Doberman pinchers outside the door of his bedroom because he had a female in there and didn't want her to leave. So now he's really admitting to, in a sense, holding people against their will. And I feel like if the authorities want to use this video to make a point, it help. Kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. rock with me, but just right. check it out. You need um a lot of heat. A lot heat. Of heat. Yeah. heat. You mean that physically the place has to be hot? You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol and it also affects like um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Okay, so you need heat. No air conditioner in this multi million dollar mansion or wherever he had these FOs, but you need heat because the heat and the alcohol might make somebody pass the hell out. If they do, you got to pour water on them. <laughs> no, seriously. Heat. I guess you want people to. Yeah. This is diabolical because this dude had a whole rundown and he just revealed his whole game plan to this dude on national TV. And what's so eerie about it is this is way prior. But think about what we know now and then revisit this. Spills up a nice little sweat. That just sounds disgusting. What are you talking Depends on the way you look at it. Depends, oh, people yeah. start getting kind of, it gets kind of sexy. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, you sexy. During a raid at Diddy's place, they uncovered guns, ammo, and a ridiculous amount of lubricant. The charges. Ron, you knew that. Back to the oh, ring. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it cracks wide open. But I don't think Jay-Z's worried too much right now. But he should be. Because we're coming for him. We're coming for all of them. All lies will be. Do y'all think Notorious B.I.G. has some things going on that he wasn't telling us. I want to start here. A lot of these people get themselves in these situations by being too eager, overzealous, thirsty. And I get it. They come from situations of being in need, doing without, and just really wanting to achieve. To the point where they see a dude like this and they're just ready to give it all up for that chance it's not guaranteed it's not nothing it's just a chance and this dude knows it so he takes it he takes full advantage of it and that's how you get a lot of these situations a lot of these situations and then you got to think about this. You endorse something with this dude. Baby oil. Pink stuff. No, seriously. But you endorse something with this dude. You're probably too intimidated to come out with it. 
because for one, your safety, your family's safety. And then people not thinking your story is credible. Just because of a money and image thing, because who this person is in others' eyes. I can guarantee you there are plenty of others that have suffered the, the same outcome dealing with this dude. And it's so crazy because all the way up until the point he was going through that stuff with that uh, De Leon company or whatever, it was me, 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 me. But he was in an interview talking about, you know, it ain't me. It's about we. Boy, we ain't benefiting nothing from your dealings with this company. It ain't a we thing. Keep it where it was. A me thing. But going through that, he was speaking about how important it is to have distribution and how he's fighting for this and fighting for that and it's for him and us and all this bullshit rhetoric and all I could see was Craig Mack's face, Loon's face Black Rob's face, B.I.G.'s face, Total's faces and the list goes on so now because it's you it's important to have this and that and the one thing he said that really irked my nerves if you don't have your own distribution and your own this, you don't have a future because they own your future. Yeah. And just think of what he did to these people that were signed up under him. Yeah, let's go. I think there's they're going to uh, dig her up and do what they need to do. I really think so. And I think it needs to be done. I really do. Oh, and that book, you guys. I feel like that was like not at all her. One day of this woman's, one of her worst days could probably be 60 pages. Put that shit in perspective. She's been with this man so long. All you got is 60 pages. I can guarantee you the feds probably got her laptops or whatever they had if Diddy kept them. Just imagine the digging and searching and all of that stuff they got to do through all of these media um, apparatuses or whatever you want to call them. Laptops, tablets, cell phones, desktops. It's a lot to uncover. They're not going to give this dude no type of bail or anything like that or whatever because, like my mom said, he's a huge flight risk. But my rebut to her was, yeah, but I could see him yeah yeah let's go i'm talking too much where fully supports law enforcement efforts the troublemaking traits diddy son christian combs is currently under the suit but only involved the lawsuit contains part since the alleged incident accusations do not end with diddy believe it or not we're gonna end it right there uh yeah we're definitely gonna end it right there well no we're gonna keep going pause here is celeb live and it says breaking they revealed Jay-Z's involvement. Now, how could Jay-Z not be involved? If you look at some of these pictures with him be and or baby, whatever, and Puff, she looks really uncomfortable. She has a look as something that was different happened or it was about to happen. And she didn't like it. I'm not gonna put them pictures up, but let's get into this story. Shout out Celeb Live, let's go. They're bringing justice to everyone. Full swing, folks. And apparently, more names of his associates are starting to leak from behind the closed doors of the courtroom. As you know, the music mogul has been recently arrested. First to go down, it's none the other, his pal, Sean Carter, or as we know him, Jay-Z. You can't name two closer people in the music industry. And apparently, they share more than just high status. Hmm. Obviously, this stuff has been going on for a decade or more. And folks, Jay-Z was trying to lie low, waiting for this legal storm to pass. It looks like the feds caught this man on one of these freak-off tapes doing something. I want to go back to Foxy Brown. And um, I, I, I wonder how deep their um, friendship went. Do you guys think Foxy will ever speak up? I do. I really do. I really do. And if she doesn't, it's probably because she's going to be paid to be quiet. The thing about Jay-Z, he's so slick of a snake. <laughs> I could see him being 
I'm not going to say smart, but I could see him getting ahead of the situation as much as he could with as less chatter as he can. In other words, what I'm saying is I could see him having other people reach out to other people to reach out to other people to reach out to Fox again. Yeah. And I say it like that because I could see him trying to cover the paper trail. If you catch my drift. Something illegal, which automatically makes Sean Carter the center of investigation, especially considering how heavy the accusations are. In case of Diddy, the indictment states during free call, victims typically received IV um, illegal stuff, hoping received IV fluids to recover similar footage. That's a lot of freaking when you need to my view. Who was there on their phlebotom? Excuse me, phlebotomous shit. Why did I? I'm talking like I don't know how to pronounce the word, but who was there to administer that IV? Who was certified? But then again, he's Diddy, so he was probably messing with them too from those freak offs. And apparently the main hero of that tape was nonetheless Jay-Z himself. He probably has no clue about the hidden cameras and apparently did some illegal stuff, hoping his secret would stay within the walls of Diddy's mansion. Yeah, Puff those the best parties ever. There's no competing with him, but I got him this time. But folks, it's not like we didn't see this coming. Diddy himself was bragging of having a vast collection of intimate videos of almost every celebrity in Tinseltown. As sources are saying, he was using them to gain power and authority in the industry. And he used the sensitive, embarrassing and incriminating recordings. Some sources who already saw the footage with Jay claimed it's a high chance his freak off activities involved many females under 18 and routines from us. She stole many things from me. Now, when it comes to Diddy's fate, it's sealed and it couldn't be otherwise. Once you read the horrors of the accusations against him, the judge appointed to this case. Very important people on that tape also. And who could imagine that Jay-Z could be a part of this mess? I mean, his public image is pristine, but as many people in the industry were saying, he did a great job hiding the truth about his fake marriage from his fans. Diddy's mansion, where he could secretly quench his intimate thirst. How comfortable for me. You know, these are things that I like. And now, after the full exposure and the video evidence in the Fed's possession, not only his reputation, but his freedom is stake. But it seems like folks on social media have predicted such an outcome. As one person commented, Diddy needs to sing and rap the celebs out. He got most of them on tape. No one helping Diddy J. I could guarantee you he is. I can guarantee you if he hadn't already. Especially if they offer this man a deal. Diddy knows that if anything, well, he knows that people won't look out for him while he's down. A lot of them probably didn't look out for him while he was going through the preliminaries of this issue. But he knows how people are made and built, that he'll be on his own and that the only people that are going to look out for him is going to be immediate family. And for that reason, I can see him just talking on some Nino Brown shit. I'm not going down alone. Real talk. And I feel Jay-Z's the one with the most to lose. He ran and let him take everything. The feds will be coming for you too, Jay. Mm. Mm. Y'all know I need that screen grab. Anyway, let's continue. And once again, you guys, I do want to thank you guys for your time. Let's go. And another user added, Jay-Z is laying low. He's not as stupid as Diddy. This will impact many, but it needs to happen. So we already know that Hollywood is about to be cleansed since the feds used all their resources and manpower to dig into his Diddy's collection of freak-off recording. And Jay is the first to have caught their attention. Some sources among the feds are saying that thanks to an incriminating footage, Jay-Z is one step away from getting a seat right next to his friend, Sean Combs. Combs did not do this alone. Do you foresee <coughs> there could be other charges related to this case? <clears throat> I'm Excuse not taking me. anything off the table. He didn't do it alone. <laughs> Kelly were spending a lot of time together while working on an album. But when it all started for Jay, apparently he was smart enough to keep every dirty detail of his secret life hidden from the public. Not a pretty sight when you take a closer look at his alleged girlfriend, Justin Bieber. As for Jay, he had his own mentorship. This doesn't raise your suspicion. This whole thing with Tara wasn't much to make her sign the contract. Brown, when she was just 15. Now all available. We're going to end it right there, you guys. I do want to thank you all for being here. Um, it does mean a lot. It helps the channel when you comment. It helps the channel even if it's some hate but from this educational video today i hope we've learned to have more poise and patience when pursuing your goals and be mindful of the people you surround yourself with learn these people if you get to, if you want to know these people look into their past look into their closets pause I can guarantee you with some skeletons in there. Anyway, if you've liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys for being here. If you're not sub, sub to the channel. 
if you have any recommendations you can reach me at trap nurse one on the um insta i'm out peace